Hey guys, um, I just spent about an hour sitting here while well, I thought I was recording how to make this like the passive income stream website. I was literally building it, building it in front of you from scratch and uh, anyway it turns out I didn't record properly and I only realised right at the end. Um, but I'll, I'll just, just walk you through it and what I'll do is I will just release this um, I will just release this as like a template for free and you can like choose to set it up and, and host it yourself if, if, if you want to. I, I imagine most people wouldn't want to code it on their own anyway. So I will just walk you through what is, what's going on, um, but I am, am a little bit annoyed actually. Um, we're using a, a tool, it's a language called Nuxt, which is built on top of Vue.js and what this allows us to do is you can basically work in like HTML, which is what most people who are like a little bit technical but not professional developers, like such as myself, are going to be like most comfortable in. But I will also like build components and so on um, for things that I'm using, and it is it's super easy to do it in um, in Nuxt. Like it's, it's literally built for this type of stuff. So for example, like the header and footer you want to make as a component so you don't have to edit it on 50,000 pages, obviously. Um, and Nuxt also has great server-side rendering. So it's picked up by Google very well and it's almost like built for SEO. So in my opinion, it's, it's, it's a really good choice. There are, there are some other like similar ones in React, but personally this, this is, is what I go for. Um, so I'll just make it like as simple as I can. This is our home page, and I'll just and so and this is connected into Airtable, by the way. So this is something that I've just put together in ten minutes. Um, these are like records in our database. They've got a name. They've got a note. They've got a, an image that I've just taken off Google. Um, they've got a status, and that one's got an email, and uh, they've they've got a job title as well. Um, but so, but just picture this as being like any different type of information. This could be a list of products. This can be a list of people. It can be a list of businesses. It can literally be anything. Um, so don't get too caught up in what the actual data is that we're showing. This was just a very very simple example that I threw together. So we've got seven records here, and Airtable can handle up to like fifty thousand. So and Nuxt will handle that very very easily. So. If I go and like refresh this page, this is our home page, and you can see what is happening is we're literally just displaying everything. We're submitting an API request to Airtable, pulling all the data, um, and I can so that's sending a request to our own API, which is called Hello. Uh, if I open up Hello, you'll see what we're doing. We're just doing Table One, pulling 50 records from grid view, you can change all of this, like, like I said, I'll, I'll just give it, I'll put it up on GitHub and you can download it. And we're just pulling the records and returning this to, to ourselves. So we could also put in like up to like 1000 or however many, literally however many you want. Uh, and we could, um, will they allow us to duplicate? No, you can't even copy on the web version. Anyway, like I could copy and paste and add those records in thousands of times and Airtable would, ret there's a limit of 100 records actually. So it's best to generate a number of different views and link them on your, um, on your page in my opinion. But anyway, this is like a good starting point. So we're rendering these seven uh, people on our page. And for example, if I change this text here, this is working as like a content management system for us, right? Harry is the best. You don't need to save that, what are you doing? Um, then Mark, yeah, it will change here to Harry is the best, right? So it's pulling like in, in real time. Um, and then if we actually click through, this is built using Tailwind, by the way. I'm just like, this is a bad UI, but again, I was just trying to build, build this very quickly as an example. And if we click through onto Harry, on Mark, sorry, you'll see that he's got a dynamic URL, so it will say profile mark. And then we're showing like his information here, and I can add in whatever else I want. I could put in some other texts and, and so on. 
Um, and if we go back and click on Alice, who's got the picture of a guy, um, you will see that it's the same. It's got uh, Alice has a custom URL. So it makes it so easy to build all of these pages. The only thing that you need to do, if you want to know how we're doing that, by the way, we're literally just doing, um, when you click on a URL, you can see here the name is underscore name, which makes it dynamic. Um, we're taking the parameter in the URL, which is the name, sending that over to our backend API, which is then doing filter by formula. So it's filtering our Airtable air records um, by the name field, and it's using whatever parameter is here to find a record that matches that, and then it will return us all of the information. So I, I hope that makes sense. It's really, really quite simple. I know some people are really put off by code, like whenever they see this, but this is like a really interesting way to to get started. Um, as you can see, I am am quite tired now. Um, yeah, and and so you could just generate fifty thousand different URLs so so quickly as long as the name here is unique. They'll be generated automatically. And just to give you, I know the next thing people are going to ask me, like as much as I try and encourage people to think for, the, for themselves, the thing that really matters here is like your data. So whether you go and scrape this yourself, whether you go and buy data sets, like whatever it is, um, you could, just for example, like an easy one would be to go on to like Appify. I'll put a link in the description actually. I've got an affiliate link for them. So uh, you can... You can use that if you want to help me out. And you could do, okay, like Google Maps Scraper, you could do an Instagram Scraper, a collection of the top 50,000 Facebook pages, YouTube Scraper, like um, making a website of 50,000 YouTube channels, like particularly if you do big ones people are searching for. Twitter Scraper, a collection of the biggest Twitter profiles. Um, contact details, make a contact details website, something like, um, Hunter or, or something. Uh, what are the top Google trends? Um, I mean, coronavirus has done a lot already, so I think you'll have a lot of competition. Or you can build your own scraper. They've got Puppeteer here. Um, they've got an Amazon scraper as well, which is here. A Reddit scraper. Like you could just. There's literally so many things that you can do, and all you need to do is build out your own data set, or you potentially buy one. Like for example, the easiest example I can think of is an Amazon product scraper. Go and scrape yourself fifty thousand products. Get yourself an Amazon affiliate link. I, I'm not sure if this is actually compliant with Amazon's terms of service, but um, you, you would have to check that yourself. But it's just a very simple example. Um, and you're literally just pulling information that is already online. Uh, you can get a little bit more interesting with it. For example, one website that I built was a, um, how should we say, it was pulling all of the information. I picked a specific industry, a specific niche, and I wrote down the 300 biggest competitors in, or like researched the 300 biggest competitors in that space. It, it, it didn't take long. Most of it was actually through Google search scraping. Then I used an API to pull, uh, I think it was like an OG image API. Image API. I'll see if I can find it for you. So open graph service API. It was somewhere, and anyway, what it does is it pulls the image that um, shows up when you share it on Twitter and Facebook and so on. It pulls the website title, it pulls the metadata, the keywords, the description and so on. And I had all of that, and then I would scrape the website for telephone number, email, social media profiles, go and scrape all the social media profiles, sync that back over to my Airtable database, check for reviews. So I would use a Google search scraper, check on Trustpilot, what are the reviews, scrape all of the reviews, put that on in my Airtable base. I would also do the same on their Facebook reviews and so on. And then I would also check if I could find a LinkedIn company page for them, scrape all of the LinkedIn employees, put them on the table. So now I've got a, on, on my air table, now I've got a completely like, it's not even unique. I'm just pulling multiple sources together and it ranks really, really well. Uh, not like it, it, It's surprisingly good, um, bearing in mind that it takes like 
an hour to set up. I find it really, really interesting building out things like this. Um, and like I, I'm literally just using the same template. This exact template that I'm about to share with you now is exactly what I use. I'll make a few adjustments on adding in more API requests, but the foundation is literally what I'm giving away. The only other ones that I'll generally add in are unique searches on Airtable views. So I'm, I, I hope that people have some interesting ideas with it. And with that being said as well, if someone does have an interesting idea and they don't know how to get the data for it, you can reach out to me and I'm, I'm not guaranteeing that I will like, take on every project that gets sent over. But if there are some interesting ideas for scraping data uh, and building out websites like this, I've built about three already and <sighs> I've built three of these websites already. One of them is doing really quite well. The other one is also starting to pick up now too and the third one, I haven't actually checked on it in a while. Um, it's not The third one I knew wasn't quite as high traffic but it was, um, I had like a direct in to monetize it so that that's why I did it so I think I would actually make as much as the traffic won't be as high I think the conversion rate will actually be much higher um, and like just to give like one example of one of them that I'm doing it's a like OnlyFans database so I scraped 50,000 OnlyFans profiles of girls adult traffic really works quite well and but the reason that I did it to monetize that is because I'm currently managing two girls on OnlyFans like I manage and market their OnlyFans account so I thought, why not build out a website for them and I can promote my girls um, all, always at the top. So that was the motivation behind doing that. OnlyFans have also got an uh, affiliate program. It's like 5% though. I, I, if you're managing OnlyFans girls, it could be something good for you as much as I don't really want to um, start getting a load of competitors. That was the reason that I did it. So I would actually look for like higher um, affiliate-based Products that pay out a higher affiliate commission before everyone starts generating <laughs> OnlyFans websites, um, and yeah, even like Appify, honestly, is really I've used this platform for ages. It's really quite flexible. If you're doing it at scale, in terms of getting millions of websites, it it will get expensive. Um, but for example, I think fifty thousand results would even actually be be affordable. Um, yeah, anyway, I like I said, I'm sorry and I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get to run through the whole um, whole thing in front of you, but um, I guess the end result is still the same and personally I imagine most people weren't even interested to build this out themselves, so maybe it's worked out better for you. As I can't, can't stop yawning, I'm going to go off to bed. I'll probably upload this quickly and put this on GitHub and... Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts and feedback. Like I said, if you have any ideas for things that you want to, um, data sets, like things that you think would be quite interesting, um, feel free to message me. Like I'm really quite interested in projects like this at the moment, and I, I do, I enjoy scraping large amounts of data. So, um, yeah, let's see. Thank you, and good night.